simply learn your pace your place financial risk manager frm part 1 of the frm exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management and the theories that underlie their use swaps Welcome to the 30th session in your preparation for the FRM Part 1 exam. We are almost halfway through the financial markets module, and until now we have learned about futures, forwards, and options. In this session, we will introduce a very interesting concept called swaps, wherein one can transfer the cash flow liabilities to another person and vice versa. For example, one can convert a fixed rate loan into a floating rate loan. This is done by entering into a swap agreement. Agenda. The agenda of our discussion will be learning about swap contracts. We will begin by introducing the concept of swaps. We will then learn about plain vanilla swaps using both bonds and forward rate agreements. We will then learn about currency options. The calculations might seem a bit tricky, but as you practice, it will become quite easy. Questions from this section, especially about currency swaps, are always asked in the exam, so you are advised to fully understand the concepts as well as the numerical questions. We will end the session with a brief discussion on the comparative advantage of swaps and the risk involved in swaps. Concept. Let us now understand what swaps are. Imagine that one person is holding a semi-annual bond that pays a 4% coupon on a principal of $100,000. This person receives a fixed payment of $2,000 every 6 months as coupon payments, as shown in the slide. Consider another person holding a bond that pays floating interest based on 6 months LIBOR. Suppose that the interest rates for the next three periods are 4%, 4.5%, and 4.8%. Then this person will receive $2,000, $2,250,000, and $2,400 every six months. Now they mutually agree and enter into a contract, so that the person receiving a fixed payment will pay this fixed payment to the person. Receiving floating payment, and in return, the other person will pay the floating payment to the first person. The net payment is shown in the chart. Therefore, the contract enables both parties to interchange their cash flow liabilities.